Question 2a. State two typical chemical properties of transition elements. Okay, so we know that uh, transition elements they can form multiple oxidation states. For example, uh, iron 2, iron 3, uh, manganese 2, uh, and manganese uh, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So uh, another one is uh, they can form color compound. Okay, so for example, copper solution is blue color, uh, cobalt solution is pink color, and so on. And of course, they can form complex ion. Okay, either it's the octahedral com complex or tetrahedral or square planar. And they can use as a catalyst as well. Okay, part B. Aqueous solution of cobalt two salt is has uh, this uh, cobalt H2O6 two positive. Okay, so this uh, complex ion. Okay, part one, define complex ion. Okay, ion formed by a central metal ion, for example, like cobalt ion, okay, bonded by one or more ligands. Uh, in this uh, example, the ligand is the uh, H2O. So one or more ligands. Eh? And in the ligands, it must have at least one donor atom. Okay, part two. So now this complex ion, the cobalt uh, complex ion, uh, reacts separately with the ammonia in excess, HCl in excess, and sodium hydroxide in excess. And it forms different compounds. Okay, so first, uh, you need to know the color of this cobalt two is actually pink. So when we add ammonia, so this is the reaction. All the H2O will, <coughs> will uh, be substituted and it will form this complex. Uh, so this one also uh, a solution. And the color is a brown color. You can say yellow brown or brown color. And if let's say HCl added to this complex ion, then all the water also will be uh, substituted and it will form this cobalt with four chlorine, COCl4, two negative. This complex ion is blue color, so it's a blue solution. And of course, <clears throat> when uh, sodium hydroxide added to this uh, complex ion, uh, it will form a precipitate. So it just 2H2O okay, will be removed and 2 hydroxide will add in. So this is the precipitate, the blue precipitate that form. CO, okay, OH2, H2O4. Okay, so these are all the reactions that involved. Uh, in the A level syllabus, you must know uh, the complex ion of the copper and the cobalt. Okay, so you have to remember all this. When they ask equation, you must know how to give. Okay, so just uh, fill up the table uh, for this uh, uh, species A, right? So uh, I already told you, uh, A is this one. This is a product that form. The cobalt with uh, six uh, ammonia and uh, color <coughs> and the state is the, the brown solution. Okay, because it's us uh, state right so it's a brown or yellow brown solution type of reaction uh, is a ligand exchange uh, all the uh, h2o inside the complex ion uh, exchange with the ammonia and uh, for b is the uh, addition of this uh, concentrated hcl in excess so it will form this okay c co cl4 Two negative and this is the blue solution also type of reaction is ligand exchange all the h2o exchange uh, with this uh, chloride so four chlorides uh, get in there and form this complex ion okay and this one is a blue precipitate uh, so two h2o okay remove and two hydroxide adding so this is a precipitation because it's formed a blue precipitate 
Okay, part C. Um, now we have this uh, bidentate ligand called uh, ethane dioate ion, C2O42 negative. Okay, so part one. Explain what it means by bidentate ligand. Okay, very easy. A species that donates two lone pair, two lone pair, okay, to form two dative bonds to the metal ion. Okay, bidentate ligand means two. So it must donate two lone pair to form two dative bonds. Okay, part two. Uh, now we have this uh, complex ion, uh, cobalt with uh, two H2O, uh, and uh, this bidentate ligand, and another two monodentate ligand, which is bromide and correct. And this one exists as stereoisomers. Complete the three-dimensional diagram in the following figure to show four stereoisomers for this complex ion. Uh, this question is quite complicated. Okay, so first, uh, we do the easier one, uh, the cis trans isomer. Okay, you try to, because uh, the, <coughs> the, this uh, bidentate ligand, the C2O42 negative already there, here, okay, or here. So what you need to do is just to fill up the four monodentate ligand, uh, the H2O, bromide, and chloride. Okay, so uh, we start with the cis and trans. We try to put the H2O on the same side, means uh, between them is 90 degree. So this one is a cis isomer. And we put the H2O now uh, at different side. So this is a trans isomer. So this is a two stereo isomer, which is what we call cis trans. Okay, this is how we uh, how we uh, try uh, try to form the stereo isomers. Okay, and of course we can uh, we can form the uh, optical uh, isomers. Means the isomers, the stereo isomers that can uh, form the mirror image, which is non super impossible. Okay, so now uh, we start with this. Uh, we put the H two O, okay, on the same side, and then we just put the chlorine and the bromine okay at different side like this okay so this one is actually can form a, a op another optical isomer okay which is this one okay so if you try to rotate this one 180 so it will be a mirror image okay of this one and <clears throat> Uh, this one also can form another optical isomer. So uh, we just try to switch the positions of the bromine and chlorine. Uh, so now the bromine is here, okay, in the same plane with the bidentate ligand. Okay, and after that, uh, this one also can form uh, another optical uh, isomerism. Okay, with this one, right? So if you rotate one eighty, uh, it will form. A mirror image, uh, which is non super impossible, okay, to this one. Okay, uh, but somehow you no need to really draw this one. You need to draw this and this. You just need to draw this and this only. Right. So means uh, for all these complex ion, actually they can form uh, either cis trans or the optical isomerism. Okay, so therefore part three state the oxidation state of cobalt ion uh, cobalt in this complex ion and the type of stereoisomer uh, so we know that uh, bidentate ligand uh, is uh, negative two overall charge is negative okay because we know that uh, the bromide and chloride both negative one negative one and this one is uh, negative two so cobalt therefore must be positive three because overall charge is negative so here is positive three Type of uh, stereoisomer you can put either cis trans or optical. Okay, that's all. Thank you.